So after that last video, a few of you came to me and said, Prof, great, you gave us a WASD converter. Now what do we do with it? So I'm gonna show you what to do with it right now. Okay, so let's just grab our WASD converter and head on over into the shop. Let's see, we'll just place this over to the side for now. Put our lift down. Okay, so let's get started. We've already got our WASD converter out, so we can use that really quick. If you haven't seen that video, you can check out the link below and see how we did that. You can also download this from the Steam Workshop and use this in any of your builds. So let's get started. Let's get us a little platform here. Grab us a seat. Because I'm a perfectionist, we're going to make it even there. All right, so now let's get our WASD converter. I'm going to bang on that real quick, get that knocked over. All right, here we go. Let's get our weld tool out. Uh, and it's important to make sure you don't put anything near this. So you want to have some room so that some of these pieces don't have collisions. Will cause problems. If you have something, say, on this side here, it might interfere with this block. You need to make sure that you don't have anything interfering with this orange block here. So you could build down here, just this orange block here needs to be clear, and this green block here needs to have some clearance. All right, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and get our bearings down. Now for tank steering to work, the way this works is you have a bearing on the inside and a bearing on the outside and you have a cylinder in between it. So these outside bearings, we're going to put those in a forward motion and we're going to put these inside bearings on a reverse motion. And each one of those is going to be connected to an engine and that will allow us to have our traditional tank steering but with WASD steering. So let's go ahead and get these tires on here. Alright, I don't have room for that one, so we're on the other side here. My favorite big wheels. And we're going to work our way around and get this done. I'll catch up with you in a second. All right, so now that we've got our wheels done, we can move to putting the engines on here. Now that we got some space, we can figure out where things can go. Remember to keep it off that. All right there. Three engines. We need four engines for the wheels, and then we'll need an additional engine for our WASD converter. So let's go ahead and hook up our WASD converter. We're going to bring an engine to the orange bar, bring that engine back to our seat, and then from our seat, we're going to come down to the green bar, and that's how we hook it up. All right, so now for these engines. We're going to bring these four engines. We're going to take this first engine and we're going to go to all our outside bearings here on our left side. That's done. Second engine will go to the bearings on the outside for the right side. This will make sense in a minute. Third engine, go to the bearings on the left inside. Fourth engine, bearings, right side interior. All right, important step. Kind to make sure all your bearings are facing the right way. So we have forward here on the outside and we got reverse on the inside. Come around, check the other side here. Get all these switched up, okay. Got that, we're gonna drop it off our lift. Let's drop it off our lift. Right, forwards, backwards. 
Let's switch that up, and we're going to need to increase the engine speed on this guy. But don't go all the way, because otherwise you'll end up breaking the WSD converter. All right, so now all we have to do is connect our engines to our logic gates, which we have not put on here yet. So let's get those on here. We're going to need four of those. One, two, three, four. And this will represent forwards, backwards, and right and left for us. Uh, since we, oh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm stuck. Since we're indicating that this right side here for our orange bar is going to be our forward, we're going to bring that to our first logic gate and to our second logic gate. Uh, our other side here is our reverse. We're going to bring that to our backward back logic gate and our other back logic gate. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and switch all these to or. All right, so now right and left. So we're already on our left side here. So we're on our green P. Let's bring it back. So for left to work on a tank, you're gonna want reverse steering on your left side and right forward. So we're gonna bring it back to our left reverse and our right forward. And then you just do the same thing for the opposite side. So you're gonna want for a right hand turn, you're gonna want right reverse and left forward. All right, engine speed, engine speed, speed, engine speed. Yeah, okay, here is good. Okay, so now that we've connected our WASD converter to our logic gates, we're gonna need to connect our logic gates to our engines. So I know it's getting a little messy here, but we we're, we're getting close. This should be the last step. So this is our fr our front. Logic gates for forward, so we just need to bring those into our forward engines here. One here, one there. Same thing for our back engine. There's reverse, and there's reverse. And that should be it. Other than maybe switching some bearings around to, to get us turning the right direction, that should be it as far as tanks. So let's get it out in the field and test it out. All right, so here it is, guys. We are we're work. It's working perfectly. We have uh, forward steering. We have reverse steering. We have we have spin left. We have spin right. And the nice thing about this tank steering is when we're moving forward and we do a right turn, it kind of it doesn't do a full spin. It just drags those wheels a little bit and kind of actually lets you turn a little bit rather than doing a spin on a dime motion. So in order to spin on a dime, you just take off the forward thrust. And you spin on a dime. So I hope this helps you out. I hope this helps you out in your future builds. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications. We will be doing more of these builds. And I hope to see you in the future. Bye.